This is a shoe that I never really thought I'd have in hand, not because it's extremely limited, but because I never really wanted to spend the money on it. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm reviewing the recently released Grateful Dead Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Before I jump into the review, I'm going to give a huge thank you to my friend Osman, who's also the co-founder of Apothecary, for letting me review his pair because, like I said, I wasn't going to spend resale on it. So as a thank you to him for making this review possible, make sure to check out his Instagram, which is linked in the description below. This collaboration released about a week and a half ago on July 24th for a retail price of 110 bucks. And surprisingly, somehow, Osman actually won the raffle at Nocturnal Skate Shop on South Street in Philly, and he was able to grab his pair. He wasn't able to pick which colorway he got, but he was able to get a pair for retail, which I think think we can agree is a pretty big deal. As I'm sure you know, even though this pair retailed for 110 bucks, resale right now is between $1,000 to $1,500, which is absolutely insane. And if you're crazy enough to grab a pair for yourself, I've left an affiliate link to GOAT in the description below if you want to grab a pair or just check the resale prices. And I think it's fair to say dunks are back and they're finally getting weird again. It's been a long time since we've had some really crazy dunk collabs and it's been a long time since people were really experimenting with dunks, but now we're getting back to the true craziness that I think made dunks popular in the first place. The Grateful Dead Dunks are nuts, and they've released in three colorways so far. The yellow colorway, which is apparently the least limited, although still very limited. The green colorway, which released exclusively at skate shops and was more limited. And the orange colorway, which as of right now just seems like it was a friends and family release. Even though personally I'm not a huge fan of this shoe overall, I think out of the three colorways that have dropped, the yellow one actually is my favorite. And if you think resale for the yellow pair is bad, you should see the resale on the green pair and the orange pair. It's stupid. What's interesting about this pair of Dunks is that even though it's not a part of the Three Bears pack from years ago, it still has a very similar construction and it still has a very similar vibe. And I guess that makes a lot of sense because one of the icons of the Grateful Dead are the Dancing Bears. So I guess it stands to reason that the shoe does end up looking like a teddy bear. If you're not familiar with the Grateful Dead or who they were, they were a rock band that was established in 1965 and were one of the most popular rock bands of all time. Now personally, I'm not really a fan, I had to actually look up that fact before I started the review. And I'd also be interested to know how many people who actually own this shoe could name more than one Grateful Dead song. That kind of just seems to be the thing with hyped up collaborations recently. If it's hyped up, people will buy it regardless of whether they know what it is or not. And while The Grateful Dead is one of the greatest rock bands of all time, I bet you that there's not a lot of people out there who own this shoe who have actually listened to them. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm not totally in love with this shoe, because I don't really have any nostalgia towards The Grateful Dead. They don't really do anything for me. So when I see this shoe, I just kind of look at it as a furry yellow dunk and nothing more. But I'll try and put my bias aside for this review and we'll jump right into the sneaker and find out what makes it so special and whether it's worth the crazy resale price. So starting off around the toe of the shoe, you've got this really nice suede mudguard that comes in a darker yellow than the rest of the upper. And I've gotta say, this is one of my favorite parts of the shoe because of how premium it feels. I mean, it's crazy because Dunks are one of Nike's cheaper sneakers, yet they always seem to have some of the more premium materials. Then continuing up on the shoe, you get to one of the most eye-catching details of the collaboration, this bright yellow fur. Not only is it eye-catching, but it's also probably one of the most polarizing details on the shoe. And I think that's for a good reason because it makes this shoe look ridiculous. In my opinion, I'm obviously on one side of the spectrum when it comes to this shoe and there's a lot of people who are on the other side. To be fair, it does feel nice to the touch. It's actually super soft and it's also synthetic animal fur and not real animal fur. And it definitely makes this shoe look unique. The material also makes a lot of sense for the collaboration because like I said before, one of the Grateful Dead's icons are the dancing bears and they're teddy bears. So it's teddy bear material. As you move up in the shoe, you get to more of this darker yellow suede around the lace eyelets and you've also got these bright yellow laces. If for some reason you're not a fan of these bright yellow laces, or you want to make the upper of the shoe pop just that much more, Nike does give you a pair of matching blue laces if you want to switch things out. One of my favorite parts of the entire collaboration is actually a very small detail, and that's the Grateful Dead lightning bolt on the lace tips. I've always felt that it's little details like that that make collaborations stand out, and while this collaboration is not exactly my thing, it definitely makes this shoe more special. Underneath the laces, you've got a yellow mesh tongue, and at the top of the tongue, you've got this blue patch with one of the Grateful Dead's dancing bears on it. Also, there's a Nike logo back there, just to let you know that this is a Nike collaboration, just in case you didn't know. At the top of the tongue, you've got another really cool collaboration detail, and that's the zipper that opens up to reveal a stash pocket. The stash pocket comes lined with blue mesh, and I have no idea what in the world you put in there. It's crazy. It's also huge, too. You can fit a lot of 
whatever it is in there. I don't, I don't know. It definitely makes a lot of sense to put this on a Grateful Dead collaboration, a band from the 60s and 70s. It's a good touch. On the back of the tongue, you've got another patch, this time around in yellow, with the Grateful Dead lightning bolt logo in the center, and around the top, it says Grateful Dead Productions. Moving inside the shoe, the sock liner of the sneaker comes in yellow, and of course, because it's an SB collaboration, it's really nicely padded. Nike SB, if you didn't know, stands for Nike Skateboarding, so the SB Dunk is a collaboration between Nike Basketball and Nike Skateboarding, hence SB Dunk. Then rounding off the inside of the shoe, you get to one of my favorite details on the entire sneaker, and that's the insole. The top of the insole comes in yellow with the Grateful Dead Bears dancing across the insole, and obviously the colorways that have dropped so far were based on dancing bears. We've got the yellow and blue colorway, which we have here, the green and blue colorway, which was a skate shop exclusive, and the orange and green colorway, which again was friends and family. And an interesting rumor is that in the future, it's possible that there might be two more colorways coming out, a blue and yellow, and a pink and blue. I don't know if that's true, we'll just have to wait and see, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised. But that's actually not the reason why I like this insole so much. In order to find that, you have to look at the bottom of the insole. As you can see, when you look at the bottom of the insole, you've got two different cutouts in the forefoot and in the heel. On the forefoot, you've got this black cutout, which is actually a much softer foam, which gives you some nice forefoot padding. And then the heel of the shoe, just like every other Nike SB, you've got this really nice heel air unit. But unlike every other Nike SB, you've actually got the Grateful Dead skull printed on the bottom of the insole, which is so cool to see, especially since this is a detail that a lot of people might never know about. Again, it's the small stuff like that that really makes me love a collaboration. I don't love this collaboration, but it's still a cool detail. As far as sizing is concerned, as you could probably tell from the on-foot shots, I had Osman wear his own pair rather than me wearing his pair because I didn't want to ruin them, I didn't want to have to pay him like a thousand dollars. But he said that the shoe fits pretty much true to size, it fits like every other pair of Nike Dunks. So if you're grabbing a pair of these for yourself, I would definitely suggest going true to size or whatever you wear in Nike SB Dunks. But as I always suggest, if you have the chance to try this shoe on first before you buy it, make sure to do that to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Then continuing back in the shoe, you get to another very eye-catching detail, which is this bright blue jagged Nike swoosh. Now what's interesting about this Nike swoosh, and is something that Osman actually pointed out to me, it actually seems like the Nike swoosh is inspired by the neck band that each one of these bears is wearing. And as you can see on the patch on the tongue, not only does the neck fur come in blue, but it also has a black outline, hence the blue and black outline on the Nike swoosh. The Nike swoosh itself seems to come in this very thin blue suede panel, and around the edges of the Nike swoosh you seem to have black fuse overlay that creates the outline. Just beneath the Nike swoosh on the midfoot, you've got more of that super furry fur. And an interesting detail is if you look just below the fur, there's actually this very small suede panel that seems to keep the fur in place. At first, I thought this suede panel was exclusive to the Grateful Dead collaboration, but when I went back and looked at images of the three bears pairs, that's actually kind of funny to say, I noticed that it wasn't exclusive and they had actually had this same panel. So it's possible that this panel is necessary for this kind of material. I don't know what reason it would be there for, but Seems like it's on every pair that has furry midfoot panels. Continuing even farther back in the shoe, you've got more of that yellow suede around the lace wing and also around the heel of the shoe. And then moving around to the back of the shoe, at the top of the heel, you've got another yellow suede panel with an interesting Nike logo embroidered into it in light blue. The typeface of that Nike logo seems to be the same typeface used in the Grateful Dead's logo, so it makes sense. And then moving down on the shoe, you get to this sort of creamy yellow SB Dunk midsole. And finally moving to the outsole of the shoe, you've got more of that light blue accented by some more creamy yellow in the midfoot. The Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Grateful Dead is definitely a solid collaboration. That's how I feel about it. I think it's a good collaboration. Is it something that I would ever wear personally? Absolutely not, but it's something that seems like more of an art piece for me than an actual wearable sneaker. However, there are tons of people out there who love this sneaker and love the way it looks, including Osman, and who plan to wear this sneaker on a regular basis. I'm just not one of those people. If you were able to grab a pair of this shoe for retail, congratulations, you just came into an awesome shoe and or a thousand dollars, and if you weren't able to grab it for yourself, then... Yeah, you could pay resale if you want, and that's definitely just up to you. I can't tell you whether you should drop a grand on a pair of sneakers. Once again, if you would like to grab a pair of these for yourself or just check the resale price, I've left an affiliate link to GOAT in the top of the description. But now, I would love to know your thoughts on the Nike SB Dunk Low Grateful Dead, and whether you grabbed a pair for yourself, whether you're trying to grab a pair for yourself, or whether you're just going to let this pair go. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.